This is a telling of chapter one of the book of the Ephesians. And the telling is based on a Bible called Free on the Inside. I, Paul, am writing this letter as an apostle of Christ Jesus, just as God has planned. And I am sending it to you, the people of Ephesus, because you belong to Christ Jesus. You are among his faithful. Let us now give praise to God, the Father of Christ. Praise him for the spiritual blessings with which he blesses us. Blessings that come from the heavenly world. Blessings that belong to us because we belong to him. Long before creation, we were chosen to belong to Christ Jesus. We were chosen to live a life that is holy and blameless in God's sight. Because he loves us, God decided to adopt us as his own people. He does that because of what Christ has done for us, and it is pleasing to God. All things work for the praise and glory of God's great grace. A grace that he gives freely to us because of the one he loves. We have been set free because of what Christ did. Through his blood, our sins have been forgiven. We have been set free because of God's rich grace, a grace that he gives to us through the gifts of wisdom and understanding. God has made to us, he has shown to us his mysterious plan, a plan that is wholly in keeping with what he wants, a plan to be fulfilled by Christ. We will come to understand that plan when history has run its course. And at that point, God will take all that is in heaven and all that is on earth, and he will unite that under one ruler, Christ. You have also been chosen to belong to Christ because it is fitting and in keeping with God's plan. God makes all things to fit his plan and his purpose. We are the first to place our trust in him. We have been chosen to praise his great glory. You've also come to believe in Christ because you've heard the truth of the message. You have heard how we can be saved. And when you come to accept that belief, God places upon you the seal of the Holy Spirit, just as he promised. We've been promised an inheritance in the redemption of his people, a people who are destined to praise his great glory. I've heard about you. I've heard about your faith in Christ Jesus. I've heard about your love for all people who belong to God. And it is because of that that I can't stop giving thanks for you. Oh, I remember you in my prayers always. I pray to the God of Christ Jesus, the God our Father who is in heaven, and I pray that he will give you wisdom and understanding through the Holy Spirit. I ask for that because I want you to know God. I also pray that you'll have clarity of mind because with that, you will come to know the great hope that God has chosen for us. You will come to know the riches and the glorious things that he has chosen for us. And you will come to know his mighty power. It is a power unlike any other. It is a power. 
power that works unceasingly for those of us who believe. It is the power that we saw when he raised his son from the dead. And he took that son, Christ Jesus, and placed him on a throne at his right hand side. And there Christ rules over everything. He rules over kings and all authority. No matter what title can be given in this world or in the world to come, Christ rules over that. God has put everything under Christ's rule. Everything for the church is under Christ's rule because the church is Christ's body. He fulfills everything in every way. Wait.